Hello and welcome, my name is Parkin, today we're playing some more Yesterday. Today we're playing Yesterday. Best start ever. So what we're doing at the moment is basically we beat that guy at chess, which apparently is a measure of pure intelligence now. And we've been stuck in this train carriage with this weird looking bloke, who kind of looks like uh, that guy from God of War with his scar face. And a gun, which is a bit of an issue. So let's inspect him, shall we? Yo! Boris. <laughs> Boris, a crazy hobo with a gun. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> okay. So we have some options here, which don't really sound that ideal right now. Maybe we can do this. Don't consider picking up or changing its pose. Right, okay. I wonder whether... Can we use this on this? Why would we want to use this on him? Maybe we can bridge this gap over here, although this isn't a thing we can interact with, so probably not. Can we actually leave, or is he just going to shoot me? What is this, closed? If he tries to open this door, Boris will shoot. The doors are blocked. Okay, so we're in here, basically. You can't get out. So what can we interact with? We've literally just got to speak to him, which is fine by me. Can we use this on Boris? No, we can't. Can we sellotape Boris's face? No, I don't know why we'd want to do that. Right, hello Boris, we've got to talk to you. It's a telephone call. Choke. <laughs> don't think, look at his face, he's like, Hey, what's up? I'm not expecting anything. Escape or personal? What the hell does personal mean? Can we telephone I call? I know what that phone call you received earlier was about, and I wanted to say that I'm sorry. What are you sorry about, eh? There's nothing to be sorry about. They'll find Danny. They'd better. Happy birthday. My, whose birthday is it? Is it my birthday? Okay, whatever. Personal. Toys past life name. Toys. The person who brought the toys that are on the platform? Yes. Danny would want toys. Did you know it was his birthday? I'll go pick Oh, it's Danny's school. birthday. We'll catch the subway at Cadway Station, and I don't want to be late. No overtime today. I'll drop whatever I'm doing and go to meet him. Oh. Right, okay, so he's going to piss off as soon as he gets to see some toys and shit. What did you do before you lived here? Me? I set prices for things. Companies used to pay me a fortune for me to tell them if something was expensive or cheap. If it was worth buying or selling at a certain price. I worked a lot. Too much. It wasn't worth it. If you got paid so much, why are you now a hobo? That is a good question. You don't have an accent. I don't want people to remember my I'm name. sorry. <laughs> I hate names. If Choke calls me Boris, I'm Boris. And many happy returns. Can I just say, why does Boris sort of account to being a foreign name? <laughs> okay, well whatever. Let Escape. Please, my family is wealthy. They can pay you a handsome reward. I used to make $3,000 a day. 3,000? And look at me now. Do you think I give a shit about money? Possibly not. Can I try that I'm again? I'm heir to White Enterprises, and someday it'll all be mine. I don't want to be rich. There's only one thing I want. So he wants Danny. Can I go I'm to... The heir to... I... Oh, God damn it, I already said that. Look, can I go to personal? Is there a new choice? No, there isn't. Can I, I, I make I a telephone call? Is. No? Okay, so we've got... We've got to choke him. <laughs> God's sake. Oh dear. Does this mean like what what is this? God's judgment. Do you really think he wants to kill me? Joke doesn't mess around. Oh choke! Him, That's the ground. guy. Oh. It. If he decides you should die, you die. I completely forgot that, that was that guy's name. Insanity. You think joke is crazy? A total nutball. He must have been hit on the head or something. Because he can't remember anything from when he was young. What a shame. Look, wax from the candles has dripped on the cake. Sometimes there is no cake. He remembers things. Little flashes having to do with the scar on his hand. With the why. Something about some cult. Then he loses it, like now. <laughs> and thinks he's in the past. Funny old bastard, isn't he? I don't know if that's how I'd describe him. Who is Choke? The reason I'm still alive. How old are you turning today? I would have rotted here if he hadn't come with his energy, his pickpocketing techniques, his drivel, and his will to live. Fair enough. 
Is that everything? The hell am I supposed to... Can I go out here? I can. Oh, good. So that was just a complete waste of time. Lovely. I love it when that happens. Let's what's over here, then. Nothing in the pile interests you. What is this? The this thing stand calling from this phone is not an option. Can I fix the phone box? You tried to fix the keypad with a screwdriver. The connections are totally broken. Can I use this on this to fix the connections? If you had the phone's receiver, you could attach the electrical tape to attach it to what's left on the thing. Right, okay. Can we use this coin in this ca in this machine? You insert the token, and... You get the trapped coin to drop. Uh, oh, so this is how we're going to make a phone call. I get it. Okay, lovely. Lovely jubbly. Can I unscrew this from the wall? Possibly not. Hmm... Maybe if we go... Can we go back up here? Sure, let's go over here. Choke has explicitly forbidden you to enter the hall whilst he prepares his soul for the trial. And knowing how crazy he is, you're not going to take any chances by disobeying him. That is a fair assumption to make. So what is this over here? There's rubble. Heavy rubble. Okay. Hmm... This, you'll need something that's among the toys in the box on the platform. I'll need... Ah! I wonder, because he said about toys, whether we use this keyboard or maybe this with him. No? Really? What, do we give these to the thing? No. Okay. Unless we have to set something up out here with the keyboard. You remember having read about Roy and ne Neary in a scientific journal. Neary was the first person to place a telephone call without using a keypad. But I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but emulating his tones into a receiver with an organ. Unfortunately, the payphone has no receiver. Plus, you have no idea if the line is working. Okay, can we get a hint? You need something that's okay. This doesn't work with coins. Can I put this in here? If you can place it before, you can pay for it with the... F okay. What the hell is going on? You ask yourself if there's some component inside the cell phone that might help you in this situation. The answer is no. Oh, thank you, game. That was really helpful. Maybe we can unscrew this with that. I have no idea. You could remove the batteries from the flashlight and put them in another device. But at the moment, you don't have anything that runs on batteries this large. Sure. Can we use this on anything? Maybe on one of these? You don't want to cut this! How many fucking things can I possibly do here? I wonder whether... Can we get that coin back? The slot itself is empty. You press the coin return and recover the subway token. Oh, cool, okay. I don't know whether that's actually going to be particularly useful or not, but... Who knows? Ah! A toy phone! You pick up the toy phone! Yes! Oh yes, oh my god. How the fuck did I ever forget that, that was even there? What is wrong with me? You cut the cable severing the receiver from the toy phone. We can use the receiver on this. It's all coming together now. It occurs you to you that you could use the receiver from the toy telephone. But right away you see that it's a really stupid idea. Why is that a stupid idea? Can we use it on this? Oh, for God's sake. Why is everything so confusing in this game? Maybe... Maybe, maybe. Hmm. What's, have we got a hint that we can use? No. Okay, well, let's go back in here. Can we give this, like... Hang on. If we... Because he likes toys. Can we give him this? When you're about to give him this part of the toy telephone, you realise this is not exactly what you wanted to do. What? Why? Can I give him this? No. Call for you on this phone, Boris. Wow, really? What? <laughs> Hello? Does any of this make sense? Where? No, I don't read the papers. What happened at Cadway Station? What? Is he just completely mad? Well, obviously. It's not him. That child is not my Danny. It's not him. You understand? That is not my son. We'll keep looking and call me when you find him. Not someone Poor else. Man. Him. Oh my god. Okay, so now we have a proper receiver. 
Oh my god, how- <laughs> I hate these sort of things. Why is everything so complicated? It makes no sense. With the help of the electrical tape, you attach the phone receiver to the payphone. Thank god, you immediately hear a dial tone despite all the years of the damage this line still works. And we can use a coin. If you could place a call from the phone, you pay for it with a coin, but that's not the case. Maybe we have to use this next? You're still toying with the ideas of emulating the number tones with the keyboard to make the call, so you pick up the receiver, insert the coin in the slot, and... Wow, really? Would that even work in real life? <laughs> what the hell? Basically my life. Oh my god, his teeth. Epic jaw. I'm watching the van, man. It's just that... Come, Cooper. But didn't you want me? You're crazy and armed, you hear me? Be careful. Come on, Henry. No way I'm falling for that. The time's come, heretic. Huh? Prepare to die. Um. Yeah, a bit of haste might be nice. Oh, we're playing as him now. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, maybe we... I mean, do we need to interact with anything out here? The back door is locked. I tried to open the back door, but it's locked. No shit. What about this rubbish bin? Garbage gives off one revolting odour, like rotting meat. You grab the rag that's hanging from the rim. How useful. Who knows when we might need a rag? What's this? Stop domestic violence. You tell yourself that if a girl like that ever noticed you, you'd never raise a hand to her. How morally just. Let's go in here. Henry is on the other side of this tunnel and he's in trouble. Let's go. Fucking hell, that made me jump. Oh, yeah, now I remember because you don't know how. Look, everybody, at the idiot who can't figure out how to make a torch. But no laughing because it's pathetic. And he's a scumbag. You're a scumbag, aren't you, Cooper? You're pathetic and you're a scumbag, right? Huh? Mr. Scumbag? I feel a bit upset. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought this was the rubbish bin, but apparently not. Okay, hole in a fence. Probably the work of hooligans or, ho <laughs> or hobos. <laughs> so politically correct. Bending a piece of wire back and forth, you manage to break off a length of wire that is already half broken. So we're afraid of the dark then, are we? So we can't go in here until we have a torch. Is that the idea? The only other thing we can interact with out here is the van, so I'm guessing. I tried to open the back door, but it's locked. Um... I guess we could try this? I don't really know. You're not skillful enough to open the lock with the wire, and although you try, you give up immediately. And these two separate things? It looks like there are. No? Maybe a rag? For Christ's sakes, Cooper, oh my god, Jesus worry. Christ. You're a disgrace to the young pioneers, but you know what? That's over. <laughs> He's wetting his pants like a little old lady. Who'd you learn that from? Your sainted mother? Oh my god, he's so mean. Let's see if we can interact with this. I think so. The dashboard just couldn't be cleaner. Blah, blah. Okay, right. You grab a box of matches and the key that you find in the gov... Oh, well, it's probably the back door key, isn't it? Make a lot of sense. With a small click, the back door pops open. What have we got? You grab the bat. Hey, it's yours anyway. <laughs> and the gas can. Lovely! Okay, me, I'm thinking we make a torch, right? You secure the rag to the bat with a length of wire. And then you use the gas on this, of course. You soak the rag in gasoline. And then you use the matches on this. Right? Perfect. Playing with fire, Cooper? Are you scared Oh, mummy! Do you want me to change your shit? So would you rather I peed in your bed to save you the time, scumbag? Oh, so mean. <laughs> oh my god. Right, here we are. <laughs> well, I guess we have to interact with these things as they're here. So this is where we were before, in case you're lost. So I'm just going to see if I can grab all this. You grab the cable without asking yourself who could have left it there. Can we interact with this? 
You're trying to remove the rubble, but there's too much. Okay, can we do anything here? Anything you can think about with the basic mosaic is to smash it with your fist, but you prefer not to. No, I think you should smash it with your fist. Can we use the iron bar on it? No. <laughs> oh dear. It's perfect. Is there anything else? This is the question. No. Can we get in from the outside? Doors to the subway car are closed. Use your greatest resource, brute force, to try and open the doors, but they won't budge. We burn the train. <laughs> no. I think we probably just use this as a crowbar, right? After delivering several fruitless blows to the door with the bar, you decide to use it as a lever. And... Oh my god, I don't really want to know what happens in here. <gasps> Instinctively, you raise the iron bar to bash in the head of the figure at the other end. <laughs> Why is that an instinctive result? <laughs> but just when you're about to do it, you realise that it's just a mannequin. Oh, Jesus Christ. He said what about your mother? There's probably some truth in it. And it's about time you learned to think. Instead of resorting to violence all the time. You're pathetic, Cooper. I'm only two years old? Oh, what's going on here? If this mannequin is the work of Henry's captors, what he told you is no joke. They're crazy and armed, do you hear me? Be careful. Hang on. He's got the phone in his pocket. No. Is this... I'm going to guess there's a revelation in this story point. Was... Hang... No. No, this can't be right, can it? Boris. Is Boris even real? Or is he a figment of that other guy's imagination? Oh my god. Is this the answer to this whole story? I don't know. But we're going to find out soon. There's bullets in the right pocket. So we have bullets now. Okay, interesting. Damn. Okay. Well, this seems like a good place to end it. If you enjoyed the episode, please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. Or leave ratings if you enjoyed the series. And subscribe if you haven't done this already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward. Awkward goodbye. Awkward.